hello and welcome back so this is a bike build i have seen a lot of bike videos coming out lately for craft dungeons so i decided to make a guide so guys if you want to do any of the videos that other youtubers does or anything you know basically what you're trying to do there by talking if you don't understand really their games or tips that they are trying to show you in their fights since most of them doesn't talk uh, the thing is, basically this is the build I was using, I was using Guardian Boots, I never really went to Giants, but I just was using it for run. Um, you can use any leather boots or whatever you want to use, you can use a Royal Sandals for this, probably it's going to be the best thing, I just wanted to keep it in budget, not to make it so much expensive or something, you can see it's around like 150k, uh, give or take since I have specs here, but the bike you want tier 6 anyway, so it doesn't matter. You can always take off the set for cape, but the thing is, like, the damage from the first basic attack was set for cape mage cowl, even if you're just, like, gonna basic attack from your, was using the second Q and, like, from distance away, and then, like, just keep your distance for 3-4 seconds or something until your cooldowns is back up, it's, like, a huge amount of damage you're gonna see. So basically this is the standard that we were using, of course you can use like reflect, uh, deflecting spin against any other bike or any other spear user, most of the spear users you use deflect, the deflecting spin except here in the speed, one handed spear, oh, one handed spear, and like, you can use harpoon in kite pills, against kite pills, you can even sometimes use, uh, what does it call? Inner focus, I usually don't use it myself, but a lot of people likes to use it in some cases. And of course you use cripple against swords. And that's it basically for the belt itself, everything you know already you're gonna see on the video. And if you wanna join the giveaway, you need to just make sure you're subscribed, leave a like, and leave a comment with your in-game name and hashtag giveaway. And thank you so much guys for your support lately and uh, we're growing up so much now and I appreciate every single one of you. And if you like the vid if you like the video by any means, just leave a sub there and leave a like even if you don't want if you don't care about the giveaway. And let's hop up and see the video. So here we have the first match. It's a reggae ball. And as you can see, one of the most important thing is to like try to use your mage cal not too early to the point that he just puts it on cooldown for no reason and a bit early at the same time. So of course here I lacked. Again was a bit of an issue for me lately to be honest. My internet has been so weird. That's why I'm not sure about the win rates because I lost so many matches doing this video just for lag. Like my ping spikes up to like 250-300 for... I don't know, I've been trying to fix a problem with my internet company but I don't know what's happening to be honest. So here I just want to keep the pressure on because I already have a huge advantage and he used a gigantic finally so I'm just walking away from that. There is no reason to fight him on gigantic 8 seconds, it's pretty much done, he's already cornered. And that crazy part is kind of overextend, but it's fine, like it's just a 6-7k, whatever. Make sure that you're winning. And that's a one-handed curse, pretty much insane <coughs> amount of damage. And he's playing on a full, uh, what does it call? in a full kiting build, you can see that I didn't want him to give me the force stack, that's why I ran away there and I left him with the mob, maybe if I pressured him it would have been better, but just didn't want him to give me the force stack, here I know that he's gonna try to give me the force stack, so I'm trying to time my W is the last thing, and he died, but sadly I died to his E, which I don't know, I was like 600-700 health and on a resi pot, I don't feel like I should have died with 3 stacks only, but I don't know. And here I lagged so hard and I think the guy lagged at the same time. So pretty much, I think that's what happened. Here is just a cleric crow because you don't want to take too much damage from his Qs and try to walk away until your cooldowns are back. Your cooldowns is really low and they already used this catastrophe, so there is no reason to stay on his insane amount of damage for his Qs. 
because like pretty much he would have won that fight so easily if he's on the third EQ, but first EQ it's kind of anything against on bike to be honest. Because you just wanna be on the third EQ and kite as I did before on the videos. Um here that's one hand the dagger we already all know how this is planned, so you just need to jog his W, yeah exactly just like that. And then use run to keep distance, so his E and Hunter Jacket is doing nothing, and as you can see, it's like so clean to the point. He literally didn't touch me. You just needed to dodge the W and then E on distance. And that's it. For some weird reason, I got stuck there. Brain damage, <laughs> I guess. But either way, you can see it's already done. Here, I guess he should have used his Assassin Hood. I don't know why he's here on, a, on, a head, on an Assassin Hood, but he should have tried to use it before I get run and try to do one more full all-in. Uh, I would have probably used the Claire Crow and won it anyway, to be honest, but either way, like, that's what he was supposed to do, not just try to run, because there is no way that he can run out of that. And that is a Daybreaker. Daybreaker is pain, like, and suffering for any weapons that's on stacks, you can see his full defensives on a reflect already. So I'm trying to be like as uh, as careful as possible. He already wasted his cleric robe, used his gigantic potion, and here I'm pretty much sure he would die with EW, but I kind of got surprised by his W. I don't know why I forgot it, but. I left barely. Here I switch it to reflect because I wanted to see if it's gonna work with his E. Like he had to cancel his E immediately and W me, so I guess it did his job. Like it ha he had to burn two abilities for it because of it. And it was pretty much of an easy fight to be honest. But I would say you don't really need to even to change your W, you can just declare crop his E. And here we already know the build. Like we all know his plan, he's just gonna merc jacket into an uh, into his E when he gets it. Here he ice cowl my set for cave set for cave is too important, so I'm just gonna try to pack off a bit here until my set for cave mage cowl come back because it's an insane start. We want to have it. Like it deals like almost 600 or 500 damage, so we don't want to take that off. So you can see here, I probably should have actually just cleric roped the moment he used Merc Jacket, but I wanted to cleric rope his E to make sure, so I kind of cleric roped badly here, I would say. But either way, he knows if he rain, I don't have enough, I have enough damage, I have enough health to survive his stacks. So he just tried to, I don't know, juice it, give more health, give more damage. That's a Herion Spear, you just need to dodge his E, he gonna E up you, switch to a healing bot because you don't need really Razy bot, if he hit it, you, you're stunned anyway. And as you can see, you just juke him, like maneuver him, say you're going in and then go to a left or a right to dodge it. And of course he has Bob on his helmet and his cowl, so you already put your back into a wall and we know he have his mage drop since we inspected him, so we're just waiting for the mage drop to end here. And it's pretty much so easy. Uh, this guy, like, we've been fighting for a long time. He's been running it because he's on Royal Sandals. So it's pretty much... Like, Royal Sandals, now everybody's using it. It's so good for mobility and everything, but it's still expensive. I could, You can use Royal Sandals, of course, with this build. It's just about costs. I wanted to make it, like... Not a so cheap build, but not a really expensive build at the same time. It's like a 150k build. So everybody can play it, or like most people. It's a guide after all, so it doesn't make sense to have a really expensive guild. As I always say, you don't need to play expensive builds. Except if you actually know what you're doing. So you don't lose insane amount of money, or you really have like the background money to afford the losing that much. Um, as you can see here, I'm just like confident my 
shoes gonna come before his since I used it before him earlier so either way it was that easy I don't know if you noticed I kind of missed a lot of W's there so I played it badly to be honest uh, here I just went back to get back my boots like I'm not fully running that's why I'm not going there I just want my boots back and stall a bit for my mage cow like just to stall a little bit for my skills to come back that's what I was doing there without taking like so much damage from his Q's and basic attacks if you didn't know what I'm doing since I was talking about something else and pretty much that's it I hope you guys enjoyed the video I made that video especially because there's a lot of bike pills going out now so you guys know how basically to play guide uh, to play bike I mean and like know the basics what are you looking for mainly you're looking for your uh, your cooldowns are really low so whenever you feel a little bit threatened you want to space out and get your cooldowns don't space out so much you just want to keep that good distance as we did on that last fight where you can go back in and he thinks that he is in an advantage but you're just stalling that three four seconds for your cooldown to get back and can actually win the fight so that is what you're looking for and that is the most important thing so i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to sub and like if you enjoyed it you know what to do if you want to be in the giveaway and if you have any suggestions any pills you want to see or a guide for or anything just tell me on the comments i'm always there you can hop up on the discord server talk with me i'm always there and thank you guys peace